All right. All right, all right, everybody back. Where's the lady right here? Where the fuck she at? Well, we can't do nothing. She bring her ass back. Shit. What's her name? Anybody know her fucking name? Anybody? Y'all sitting right next to the lady don't know her goddamn name yet? I just... Oh, she got a shirt left. We gonna wait on her motherfucking ass. We probably... Is she coming out? Anybody see her? Look, what the fuck is this, Negro? What is it? You raise your hand like this Oprah or some shit. What the fuck you want? What is it? Yes, sir, you in the Charlie Brown shirt. Stand up. Stand the fuck up. Stand your ass up. Yes, you. What, 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 what? Stand up. Where's this lady? Where the fuck is she? No, I ain't looking for you. You all right. All that pleather on. All right, sit your ass on down. Will that light melt that fucking suit? Sit the fuck down. <laughs> I love you, too. All right, we waiting on this lady here. Come back, huh? What, what you yelling at? I love you too, all right, I ain't fucking with your ass. I'm leaving here with all my goddamn money. Fuck around, duct tape my fat ass to the bed. Rob my monkey ass, I ain't going out like that. Mm -mm. What was you saying, sweetheart? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, don't be fucking around now. You don't know what the fuck you yelling out. Fuck around, shrink everybody head in this motherfucker with that African bullshit. Go to work tomorrow, your head that goddamn big. Bullshit. Where's this lady right here? Y'all don't know where the fuck she is? All right, somebody come sit in the seat there, goddamn it. See She coming? All right, I'm waiting on her. It's a long line. It's always a long line in the ladies' room. It's, I got too much shit going on in there. You run your fucking mouth and shit. Men just pee and get the fuck out. You know I mean? Wash their hands or flush and no shit like that. It's, it's fucking nasty. I mean, this one here is a model. Look at her. She, no, she look good. Look at her. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. I look motherfucking good. Fucking A. Right. Fucking, fucking yeah, I look good. Yes, sir. Well, come on up here. Bring your little monkey ass on up here. Hey, man, what's up? Y'all know who this is? That's Grandmaster P. What's up? D, Mr. Z, Grandmaster A. Grandmaster, what, 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 what initial are you? With Houdini. He's with Houdini. Yeah, y'all give him a round of applause. Huh? What's up? Okay, all right, thank you very much. Time a little hard, just back to the church now, huh? <laughs> Time a little rough, back to the little baseball shirts and shit. What happened to the leather hat and shit? What the fuck happened? All right, look at here. All right, motherfucking shit. What the fuck going on? I'm in this motherfucking here. Shit, I'm the motherfucking bucket. I'm the bucket, bucket, move, motherfucker, move back, motherfucker. And I'm in the motherfucking way, motherfucker. Look at the boy, he just went to get a drink. He ain't had no money. Look at him. Look like somebody just saved him a swallow. Look at him. Don't drink it all, trade me a swallow. Don't be fucking around now. <laughs> Where is the lady? She go? Okay. Big hand for our security guy. We're here. Get him around. Applaud. The motherfuckers holding shit down. But a mall security man. He's a mall security man. He's watching the mall wherever he can. He's a mall security man. Everybody, he's a mall security. Say the fucking song. He's a mall security man. He's watching the mall wherever. All right, just hum it, come on. You be laughing, you be singing that motherfucker on the way home. Are you ready to take this motherfucker to another level? Are you ready? 
do you really want some more? Do you really want some more? She was the first host of BET's Comic View. You sent her on Oprah. You sent her on Parkers. Give it up for the first lady of a hip hop comedy. Let's hear it for some more. Shake your body, don't stop, don't quit. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Do it good, lick this just like you should. Right now, lick it good, lick this just like you should. My Lick my chest like that My neck, my back Lick my chest like that My neck, my back Lick my chest like that Ladies, y'all know what time it is It touches all night long to bring it on All my sisters in the house, get up and do your thing Come on, alright? Lick my chest like that My neck, my back Lick my chest like that My neck, my back Lick my chest like that First you gotta put your neck in front Then you roll your tongue from the That's my one motherfucking move. You know what I'm saying? If I was a stripper after this, that's my shit. This is my only, this is my finale right here. It don't get no better than this for me. Get all the ladies in the house, say ho! Say ho! Get all the hoes in the house, say ladies! Oh, it's more holes in this house than that. You ever go somewhere and forget you a hoe? Now you fuck around and be at a party and see about two, three motherfuckers you done slept with, you'll be like, Lord, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I feel like a hoe up in here. Cause hoism is a motherfucker. Hoism is a motherfucker. I think the only thing funnier than being a hoe is seeing somebody that used to be a hoe. You ever see somebody that used to be a hoe? Now they born again Christian. Now they saved. They done got married. Had children. But they forgot that they used to be a hoe. And they want to be judgmental against you. But my only thing is this. I think that everybody should go through a period in their life where they get their life together with God. I really do. But my only thing is this. When you're working on getting your life right, give a motherfucker a sign that you're working on getting your life right. No, cause it could fuck you up. It could fuck you up. I was down on Bill Street, ran into a friend of mine today that I hadn't seen in a long time. I was a little bit excited cause the last time we was in Memphis, we had a good time. So I was a little bit excited. So I ran up to her, I was like, bitch! Girl, what the fuck you been doing, girl? Girl, I remember the last time I was in Memphis, bitch, we was balling. We was getting, it was in the club, we was getting fucked up. Bitch, you was so drunk that night, I think you fucked the motherfucker in the trunk, bitch. You was drunk in the motherfucker. I said, bitch, what you been doing? She said, I'm saved now. I said, me too. <laughs> Shit, my bad, bitch, I didn't know. Shit, hang some bibles from your earrings or something, shit. Put some gloves on or some pearls around your necks or some shit. <clears throat> Give a bitch a sign that you're working on your life. You ever see a motherfucker that's saved but they still wear their whole clothes? This bitch got on the halter top with a cross necklace. You be like, come on, bitch. Make up your mind, bitch. Make up your mind. Tell you, hoism is a motherfucker. Hoism is a motherfucker. And if you ever, 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 ever been a hoe ever in your life, you're always gonna have some hoe-like tendencies. 
you will. I don't give a fuck how many church organizations you belong to. You gonna have some whole life tendencies. Like one whole life tendency is when somebody touch the back of your neck, your mouth gonna fly wide the fuck open. Oh shit, what's wrong, Sister Johnson? Nothing, sweetie. Just jail that part. Don't curl that. Just jail that down. Just jail that down. And men, y'all marry women. Y'all don't know this motherfucker background. You don't know if she used to be old. Gotta look for some signs. Gotta look for some signs. Like one sign is, when she get out the shower, if she lotion her knees before she lotion her face, Nine times out of ten, she used to be a whore. <laughs> Dang. And it's always men. It's always men that will lead you in the hoism. It is. It's all, because you know, you could be in a situation where you're just being a freaky bitch. And then it take a man to push you to that level. Like fucking an ass. Now when I said fucking an ass, I know that some of y'all, some of y'all been fucking in the ass in here. I tell y'all, some of y'all sitting in here right now, asshole sword in the motherfucker. Cause somebody done convinced you that that's some freaky shit. Y'all sitting in this bitch scared to sneeze cause you might lose a kidney in this motherfucker. Oh shit girl, I gotta go to the bathroom girl. Girl Junior got my shit all fucked up. Cause Junior done convinced you that fucking in the ass is some freaky shit. Telling you now, y'all better stop fucking in the ass. You gonna fuck around and lose all elasticity. You gonna fuck around and be at a cookout, you gonna go to eat a hot dog, that bitch gonna fall straight to the floor. Your kids gonna be like, mama, is that your hot dog? No, that ain't mama hot dog. I don't know where that hot dog came. That ain't mama hot dog. <laughs> Tell you, it's men, it's men that lead you to hoism. It is, it's always men. And trust me, once they realize that you a hoe, they'll never let you forget it. Never let you forget it. Like I live in Los Angeles, California. My next door neighbor is Monica Lewinsky. Nice girl, nice girl, but I feel so sorry for her. Cause men will never forget that she's a hoe. She tries to live a normal life, date men, all kind of shit. I can just imagine down the line years later, she could be married with kids, moved on with her life. She come home one night from a hard day's work. She laying in bed trying to get some sleep. Now her husband nudge her. He trying to get some head. What you know, can I, can I get some head or something? Oh honey, sweetie, I'm really just tired. I had a hard day at the office. I just really want to get some sleep. He'll wait like two seconds and be like, oh, so what a motherfucker gotta do, be the president to get his dick sucked by you? Shit, my little job at the auto shop just ain't enough. I got to be the motherfucking president to get my dick sucked by you. Men ain't gonna let you forget. But the only way to keep from being labeled as being a hoe, you gotta get you a man. Get you one motherfucking man. Right now in the audience, right now, ladies, if you with a man, touch him. Touch him. If you see somebody in the audience you wanna fuck, touch him. Cause I just wanna see what's left out this motherfucker, you know? <laughs> bitch is working, the bitch is working. <laughs> no, cause you gotta get you a motherfucking man. Women kill me, I go from city to city and I hear women always tell me, they can't find a man. You can find a motherfucking man. Let me tell you something, if you're a grown fucking woman and your pussy don't stink, it ain't no reason why you shouldn't be able to find you a motherfucking man. Now if you got a little older with you, I understand your frustrations. But you can find you a man. You know why women can't find a man? Cause we too motherfucking picky. We too motherfucking picky. 
We worried about what he driving, how much money he making, where he living, who he was fucking before he was fucking us. Find you a motherfucking man. Shit, in today's society, a man could find a motherfucking man. <laughs> Y'all better stop being so picky. The problem is you gotta learn how to say so what. Everybody's not motherfucking perfect. People got flaws, everybody got a motherfucking flaw. You gotta learn how to say so what. So what they lie. You know they motherfucking lie. I dated, you gotta make a game out of this shit. I dated a man for five years, this motherfucker lied so good, I used to call him the Lion King. I'm telling you, you ever see somebody that would lie and swear to God, Lord? This motherfucker was, he would swear on his mama. I swear on my mama, I swear on my mama, I swear on my mama. He would swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. I said, swear on your rims, swear on your rims. He was like, see, bitch, you tripping. See how you tripping, you tripping. See how you tripping. Gotta learn how to say so what? Especially older women. I see older women go years, don't have a date, don't have a man, don't even have a motherfucking plan to get a man. The law didn't say you couldn't fuck a man younger than you. You seen the movie that came out two, three summers ago with Angela Bassett? How Stella got her ass waxed. This shit can happen here in Memphis. I'll tell you, I stay fucking a young boy. I do. I buy PlayStations by the motherfucking dozen. I stand outside the nightclub. I be like, I got that John Madden, nigga. Got that John Madden. Got that NBA Live 2000, motherfucker. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, nigga? Got that new, new FUBU sweatsuit. What you want? What you want? Say so what? Then you see so many women, this the ones that kill me. Motherfuckers act like they don't want a man. I don't even need no motherfucking man. Then call their house. Listen to their motherfucking answering machine. Hey, this Tamika. I'm not home, but you can reach me on my cell phone at 391-2468. Or call my job at 841-3924. Or call my mama house at 631-4128. Holla. A desperate bitch! <laughs> Find y'all a motherfucking man. Y'all be making up all kind of motherfucking excuses. So what he ain't perfect. So what he ain't perfect. And I look at some of the celebrity women especially. I feel so sorry for them. Like Halle Berry. Lord, Halle Berry, she just, every man she get take her through motherfucking changes. But you know what her first problem was? She left her husband David Justice. She left her husband, David Justice. Now she's married to Eric Benet. Don't get me wrong, the motherfucker's cute. But financial wise, she went from first class to coach. He will never have the money that David Justice has. And how can you leave a man with championship rings for a motherfucker wearing toe rings? I don't understand that type of bullshit. Oh, that's some soft ass shit. Oh, you know that that's some soft ass shit. See, my problem is I like rough ass motherfucking men. I don't want to see men doing no soft ass shit. Me, myself, I don't even want to see my man in the motherfucking tub. Nigga, take a shower. I wish the fuck I would come home and you soak it. I know you ain't in this bitch soaking. You better be doing the dishes in this motherfucker. That's what you better be doing. Do that shit when I ain't home. I don't want to see that shit. Real men don't soak when other motherfuckers is home. Real men don't put lotion on their ass. What is you lotioning your ass for? The ass is supposed to match the nuts dry. It's a combo. Find y'all a motherfucking man. I gotta give it up to the woman of the year. The woman of the year that got my vote was Juanita Jordan. Juanita Jordan is the motherfucking woman of the year. 
Oh, that bitch did some old Angela Langberry murder she wrote type of shit. She thought that Michael Jordan was cheating, so she went out and hired a private investigator to follow him around for six years. Do you know the amount of dirt you could have on a motherfucker for six years? When I heard this shit, I didn't have but one thing to say. Well, I need up and not call my house with no bullshit. Bitch, <laughs> don't call me. When you decide you gonna leave Mike? How can you decide you gonna leave Michael Jordan? Do you know how rich this motherfucker is? I mean, after you leave Michael Jordan, the only other rich black person you can marry is Oprah. And I don't know if you wanna change your diet up like that, but hey, shit. I'll tell you, that shit was traumatic for single women all over the country. When we found out that Michael Jordan was getting ready to be single, he was getting ready to be a free agent. I don't know how it affected y'all, but for me, when I heard the shit, I was in my car. I stopped at the red light. I started doing motherfucking sit-ups in the car. I said, oh, shit. I said, fuck sisterhood, every bitch for a goddamn self now. Shit. Find you a motherfucking man. So what he ain't cute. So what he ain't cute. Just don't go nowhere with him, shit. Oh, that's how they do us. That's how they do us. You know who you all be begging them. I'd like to meet your friends. Bitch, I told you ain't got no friends now. Everybody got a man. Everybody got a man. Guess who got a man? Y'all gonna be shocked like a motherfucker. Guess who got a man? What's the little tennis player bitch richer than the motherfucker? The sisters. Not Serena. Venus. Venus Williams got a motherfucking man. She got a fine ass Italian boy. This motherfucker is fine. They had pictures of him in the People's Magazine. Laying out on the beach. Getting a suntan. He was laying there looking golden brown. She was laying in his arms looking like this. I said, damn, this bitch got a man. Oh, y'all know Venus Williams ain't easy on the eyes. Fuck that shit. Shit. I ain't the best looking bitch in the world, but I got one bitch beat, that's Venus Williams. That bitch done won every tennis tournament there is to win. They ain't put on a box of Wheaties yet. Kids all over the country be crying like a motherfucker. Mama, I don't want no cereal. I don't want to run fast. say, God has a sense of humor. Now he does, he does, he does. Let me tell you something, God is the creator of all men. He has given each and every one of us a flaw or two, some more noticeable than others. As for me, I have no body hair. Hair does not grow on my entire body, which means I have to draw my eyebrows on every fucking day. What I'm trying to explain to y'all is I'm part seal in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm subject to uh, uh, any motherfucking minute. But you can't tell me that God didn't have, have a good time when he was creating some of, some of us. I'm convinced that God was sitting on his throne. He told St. Peter, he said, St. Peter, I feel like doing something fly. St. Peter said, well, do what you do, God. You got it. He was like, well, get out of my way. He said, I'm getting ready to make a black woman. I'm going to make a young. I'm going to make a talented. I'm going to give her some tennis skills where she'll be renowned around the world. But watch the face on this motherfucker. Bam! Venus wings. Find you a motherfucking man. I'm telling you, because ain't nothing like 
when you find you a man and that dick is good. Oh, cause you don't know dick like I know dick. That dick is a beautiful thing. You ever have somebody that fuck you so good that you really think you're in love? I'm talking about that real kind of motherfucking love. I'm talking about the kind of love where you lay in bed all day and fuck all day long. Don't wash. Then y'all eat a bowl of Fruit Loop cereal together. Then after a while, he smack you on the ass and say, boo, go get me a grilled cheese sandwich. You go down to the kitchen butt ass naked to make a grilled cheese sandwich. You up to the stove naked, holding your titties up from falling in the frying pan. You got dried up, come on your leg. One track of your weed hanging down. But you flipping that sandwich like a motherfucker. That's the real kind of love. Tell you. And I learned early on, because as you fall in love, you learn certain shit. That dick is not, and you can't, you can't, all dick is not good just because it's big. We understand that. And it took me 30 years to learn that shit. So I just want to say all to men in the house, we understand when y'all don't have big dicks. We excuse you, we understand. But on behalf of all the ladies, I want to say this. When you don't have a big dick, don't show up with a big dick man's conversation. And by that, I mean this. When you have a big dick, we will allow you to speak to us in a certain fashion. As a matter of fact, we like that from time to time. We like when you be verbally aggressive with us. Like for instance, if you got a big dick, you can talk to us like this. So where the fuck you been? I've been calling you all motherfucking afternoon. I've been calling your job. I've been calling your cell phone. I've been looking for you. Where the fuck you been? But when your dick ain't that big, lower your motherfucking voice. You don't speak to me like that. When your dick ain't that big, this how you supposed to say that same statement. I was worried about you. I thought something happened to you. I've been calling your job. I was getting ready to call your mama house. I was worried about you. And some of y'all dick so small, y'all don't need to say shit. Just hand a bitch a note. Oh, you was looking for me. I didn't know my cell phone wasn't working. Y'all, my name is Zamora. Y'all been wonderful. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all. Y'all get it up one time for J. Anthony Brown. <laughs>